Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing Funko News episode 9. We are still talking about Toy Fair. There's so much more stuff come out for Toy Fair so I'm just going to go through the stuff now. If you haven't seen part 1, make sure you check that out because I talk about all the other stuff that's come out in Toy Fair. So, no, wait, so let's waste no time guys and let's get straight into the news. So we've got some new Deadpool and some new X-Men pops coming straight off the bat. We've got some nice stuff coming from the new Deadpool film. We've, we've got a Teenage Negasonic Warhead. That's the first time we've getting a pop of that and it's coming in an X-Men style box so that does look really cool. I really do like that looking pop and I liked her character in the film so that'd be something I'll definitely be picking up. We're also getting a Deadpool's Domino which is really cool so I'm glad that we're getting that pop as well in this wave. That looks really good. And we're also getting a um, a cable in this wave which um, is not surprising at all to be honest that comes in the that's coming in a Deadpool packaging I really do like the look of that as well with that one yellow eye I think they've really nailed that that looks really cool and then we're getting a Colossus in sort of an X-Men box but it sort of comes with the wave of Deadpool stuff we are getting Deadpool on a scooter sort of like a Vespa bike which does look really really cool I really do like that I really think that's fun and I will probably pick that up if I saw it we're getting so much Deadpool stuff which doesn't surprise me to be honest at all as you can see up on the screen we are getting some Deadpool Flushes, which are really cool are really nice like I said if you're a fan of Deadpool you're probably gonna have to make a whole shelf for Deadpool collectibles alone because there's so much of it coming out and why not they're gonna cash in on something like that we are getting a Deadpool holding the panda bear wearing the dressing gown with some unicorn slippers on which is awesome I really do like that pop that does look really good I really think I would pick that up we're also getting a clown version of Deadpool where he's sort of holding like a balloon. He's also holding a balloon sword and probably a balloon gun that looks like. That's really cool. I like that, just like a clown pool sort of thing, so that's really nice. And then we're also getting a sort of Deadpool laying down like the um, Jeff Goldblum pop we're getting for the Jurassic Park series, which I knew they would do. They have to take the mick out of everything with Deadpool, which is fantastic really, so we're getting a pop of that. And my personal favourite Deadpool pop, which I cannot wait to pick up, is a Deadpool Bob Ross. The, this is amazing. If you can see it's up on the screen now, just Deadpool dressed as Bob Ross, which is brilliant. And I'll definitely be picking up a Deadpool Bob Ross. We are getting some Saturday Night Live pops. I don't know much about this because obviously we don't have that here in the UK. But there is some pops I do know, like these first two, this double pack of the Dick in the Box pops. I really do like this, Justin Timberlake and Andy Samberg from that song from Lonely Island, which is amazing. They're so funny, those guys are brilliant. And we're getting a pop, two pack of pops of these. I've seen it pre-ordered up on Amazon in the US for $10, which is really cheap for two pops. But hopefully we do get that here in the UK. Because it'll be something I'll definitely pick up. And maybe in the future they'll do more from the Lonely Island guys, which would be great because they're so funny. We're also getting a Stefron pop. Whoever that is up on the screen as well from Saturday Night Live. And we're getting a more cowbell. That's up on the screen as well. I don't really know these people. And we're also getting a David S. Pumpkins. He's got a suit with all pumpkins on it. And then we're getting a free pack with David S. Pumpkins and two sort of glow-in-the-dark skeletons. So if you are a fan of Saturday Night Live, you'd obviously know these characters, but unfortunately I don't. We're also getting some Gossip Girl Pops. I'm not going to name all the ones we're getting, but they're up on the screen. There's two males and three females. I've never seen it. But it's really cool that we're getting more and more different lines and stuff available. We're getting some Overwatch pops as well from the game. So there's some large pops of these two up on the screen. One's a Walmart exclusive. These are six inch. And then we're getting just normal two um, regular pops of two ladies. One is a Hot Topic exclusive and one is only at GameStop. We're also getting some really cool rock candy figures from Harry Potter. I really do like these. I've never have. I've never brought a rock candy, but I really like these pot, um, these uh, rock candies. Uh, there's a Voldemort one. And there's obviously a Sirius Black, as you can see up on the screen, holding up the Azkaban prison board. We've got a Harry Potter uh, holding that orb that he gets from the vault at um, the Ministry of Magic. We've also got Ron Weasley in his, um, Quidditch, in his Quidditch gear. We've got Neville Longbottom wielding the sword of Gryffindor. And then we've got Professor Albus Dumbledore. These look good. I would definitely like that Sirius Black, but I think it's limited to only a certain amount of uh, pops each. And that Neville Longbottom is a Barnes & Noble exclusive, and we don't get that in the UK. 
but maybe I can pick it up somewhere. We are getting some Grease Lightning pops. So if you're a fan of Grease Lightning, we are getting three pops of that. We're getting two versions of Danny. One where he's in his normal greaser jacket and another when he's in a white jacket. And then we're getting one of Sandy as well. Not a big fan of that film, but I have seen. We are getting three Jetsons pops. We're getting Jetson, Mr. Jetson. I imagine I've never seen this either. I'm getting the, we're getting the dog and we're getting some sort of robot maid. They're up on the screen now, as you can see those. I'm not really, these some of these pops in this way, so I'm not really too sure of, but I thought I'd just let you guys know anyway, but I'm not a particularly a fan of most of this stuff really apart from the Deadpool. We are getting some Doug pops as well. We're getting a Doug. We're getting, I think that's either Doug's mum or his girlfriend. I'm not sure. Again, I've never seen this. We've got Doug's dog and we're getting a Doug's dog chase version of that. I think that might be flocked. Then we're getting a Toys R Us exclusive Doug where he looks like he's dressed as a superhero. And then we're getting a Hot Topic exclusive of his dog doing this dressed as the same. So that's really cool. We're getting Bendy and the Ink Machine pops, which I don't really, again, I don't know what these are are but there's one exclusive to GameStop and these are up on the screen as well now so if you're a fan of that property that's great but I just don't know what that is. Up on the screen now as well we're getting some Smallville pops and looks like there's one of Arrow as well and obviously Superman I've never seen Smallville but these look quite good I do like that one of the Arrow and we're also getting um, we're also getting some Princess Bride pops again I've never seen this movie and the, there's a couple there's a two swordsmen and there's one swordsman chase and there is a woman pop as well you can see up on the screen we're also getting some Pee Wee Herman's Fun House pops as well Playhouse I think it's called I'm not too sure but again never seen it it's not an English thing it's mostly in America but they do look pretty cool if you like that sort of thing we're getting some coming to America pops as well they're up on the screen now again I still I don't know what this property is either but as you can see there's quite a few pops of that guy and one of them is limited edition and two uh, exclusive to target so probably the best news of the um funko pops for me so far is this next wave of stranger things pops we're getting some great pops here we're getting a billy pop max's elder brother which is really cool I really like that that's up on the screen now we're also getting a steve pop as well when he's wearing his marigold gloves and he's got his big sunglasses on and i think he's got his bat on his back which is amazing really considering how well the last Steve Pop done which I do luckily have because now it's sort of really hard to come across we're getting a Hot Topic exclusive Steve Pop as well where he's got the balaclava on when he's in the um, inside the upside down with all these demi dogs chasing after him and stuff so that would be really cool we've also got a floating 11 pop and I really like this they've given it that stand in the back to make it hover I'll definitely be picking up this yet another 11 pop but I suppose you can't have a Stranger Things wave without an 11 pop really which is really cool it's at the end it's from the end of the uh, season 2 which is really cool that um, big scene I won't spoil it then we're getting a Funko Pop of Hopper where he's sort of um, just been cut out all of those the viney things that are grabbing him down in the upside down down where I, I thought he was about to die and um, that's a cool pop of him that's a different variant something different and I like that because I have the Chief Hopper one so I want the one with Hopper when he's not sort of in his uniform then we're getting one of Bob which is really cool I really like Bob he's one of the standout characters for me in season two of Stranger Things and I think he's great and we're getting him in his sort of nurse's outfit where and um, he's got that earpiece in and his walkie-talkie for when he was in the lab and all that if you've seen it you'll know what I'm I'm talking about and then finally we're getting a GameStop exclusive of Bob which I think is the best one so far and he's in the vampire costume and he uh that's just a great scene from the show I'm really really glad we're getting it so overall guys there's been some great announcements this weekend I don't know if more are coming there's a time of this recording I'm recording this UK time on Sunday at 5 o'clock so hopefully there's no more Funko oh, hopefully there is more Funko news and more stuff coming out I just just love the amount of stuff that's coming out. Funko are really punching us in the wallet this weekend. Uh, Pre-orders are probably up for most of this stuff. So if you do want to pre-order it, get on there and do that now. But thanks for watching, guys, for this part two of this Funko news. So make sure you give this video a like. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of all these other releases that have come from Toy Fair. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to this channel. And if you are subscribed to this channel, guys, thank you very much. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you're aware of all my videos when they pop up. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description down below. And thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.